Hi, my name is Chelsea Callistead, and I'm from Holbrook, Arizona, and my horse, is her name is Najoni. She's a bay mare. She's 12 years old. Dennis just helps you get such a wonderful relationship with your horse. I have the best relationship I could have ever imagined with my mare. She's just so connected and tuned to me. So I'm really hoping to keep that and further it and make it even better with Dennis's help. I've worked on the Freedom course and I, I've got passed for that and I've worked on the Awareness course and I've passed all of the Awareness and Movement courses as well and I just got my um, round penning endorsement for Horseman in the Horseman's course so I'm really hoping that I can soon go to his ranch and learn under him and hopefully someday be able to go home and be an instructor for him and spread this wonderful message of universal horsemanship to everybody I know. So the first task I want to have Chelsea do, well, is a million dollar move. I want to actually demonstrate this here for you first. I'm going to pull Bo's eye. And these are all the things that we would do in the round pen before we'd actually leave into this big invisible round pen. And right now, here's a key task that she had to go ahead and demonstrate before I have her go ahead to the next level. And right here, we're doing a million dollar move. I want to go ahead now and lower my hand. But before I lower my hand, I want you to understand, all this here is clearly outlined for you in a step-by-step -step methodical process for a whole st home study course. And my students are going to be a testimony of how the system works. I'm really proud of these two girls. These two girls now are on their way to becoming instructors for us now. And they are just have really, really impressed me. I want to go ahead now and just move our move here, bow, move the hind quarters, and lower my hand, stop the hind end, and walk the front end right on around. And you can see there's no halter and lead rope here. There's no round pen. And if you ask me what that would be, that's the truth. And so Bo is demonstrating the truth. He's like, he's lowering his head saying, I give it, don't give up. So it's your turn there, Chelsea. I'm going to get out of your way here. I want to go ahead and basically reevaluate you here. And uh, we'll see how well you do today. So let's go ahead and see if you can do the million-dollar move with your horse. Say, what's your horse's name? Joni. Joni. Yeah, Joni. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and try our... On this left side, we'll move the hind quarters there. And now, could you show me under pressure? Could she still kind of keep moving the hind quarters under some pressure there? Now look at there. She's actually putting some pressure on her mare, and she's staying and not leaving. Now lower your hand, and now walk that front end right on the round. Now watch the rear end. Boy, right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's some pretty powerful stuff she was able to do right there with her horse there. Okay? And so we're on a, we're on a mission here. Reese Ranch, you know, we're traveling the country. No one has more tour stops than us. No one has a better system, I feel, than we have to offer you to get the skills at home to get things worked out and a support system we can offer you through our educational system, through our instructors, through our online store, through our website, through our uh, club membership, through our monthly DVDs we're going to mail to you. So please, look at our opportunity we have to give you because we have the doorway in for excellence. Go ahead and repeat that process on that side there for me if you can, okay? Pull her eye. Uh, yield the hind quarters, this million dollar move. And let's see if you can do it under some pressure there. Can you put a little pressure on her and have her still stay with you, have her not leave you? And lower your hand, stop that hip, push the front end around. And this is actually, that's good, give her a hand, really nice. What do you guys think? Have your horse yield away from you here, okay? Pretty nice. Now change sides. There's your million dollar move. Now have her yield sideways away from you this way here. Now pull the eye, push the hind quarters away. And now let's see if we can draw your horse to you, right to the camera there, sideways to you, okay? Let's see how you're doing on this deal. Give it a try. What do you guys think? And change sides. Let's go ahead and change sides. And bring her, side, bring her sideways to you again, okay? Wow, look at that. These are things... <laughs> <laughs> These are things you wouldn't have seen 
20 years ago. These are things you wouldn't have seen 10 years ago. These are things you probably wouldn't have seen five years ago. And now you see, from the, you know, from the information highway of RFD TV and the internet and all these, you know, tours we're doing, horsemanship is being raised off the charts. And so we're going to challenge you horse lovers and horse owners out there to start doing round pen work with no round pen, ground school with no halter and lead rope, and really see if your horse is really hooked up. Now, I've got some jumps out here. It's her task now to get her horse to hop over these obstacles. These obstacles are put out here for this reason, to challenge your horse, to challenge your ability, to have your horse basically say, no, I'm not going to do that. And we've got to do this with no halter and lead rope. So we're going to really put it, this is a pretty big challenge. If you couldn't get your horse to go forwards, stop, backwards, away from you, to you, you would never get these horses over these obstacles. So there's a practical reason what we're doing. We're not doing like stupid pet tricks out here. We're doing, he's saying, I give Dennis, I don't give up. We're doing practical things to create a relationship where we can work harder on our own abilities to be that clear of a leader. We're not hanging on a rope, maybe inappropriately. He needs our halting leader appropriately to teach these horses, once again, for fixing, reinforcing, and refining. But the refinement part comes speaking impeccably with our body language. So I got a challenge for her now. I'm going to hop over some obstacles here and see if she can go ahead and meet my challenge. I think you'll appreciate this next task. See now, if I can get Bo to hop over that barrel both ways, and uh, you can see right here, can I get him a trot? Escalate my aid. Just trot around this barrel here, have him hooked up to me here, doing a good job, Bo. We're going to drive right up to this barrel here, and we're going to line ourselves up and be prepared. We're going to stop right here. So I'm going to go sideways away from me. Let's bring him sideways back to me. Okay, I'm getting pretty prepared. I'm going to stop him here. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. Wait for me. Okay, let's go ahead and hop this jump. Now pull that eye. Push the rear end away. Chain sides. Rest right here. Rest right here. Pull his eye back over here. There's your million dollar move right there. Now rest right here. Okay, I've got to repeat the process now on this side, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and walk around this barrel here. It's a tough, tough task. Okay, come up here, Bo. So we want to have our horses balanced from the right and left side. We're using these two, fl these two horsemen's flags. These are only here as basically arm extenders. Me a horse lined up. You can see it's like there's like a thread attached to his eye. Watch, pull that eye, push that rear. Watch that thread attached to his eye. Lower that. Push the eye here. Pull that eye here. There's actually you can actually feel like there's threads attached. Push the front end here. Pull the eye here. Wow, that's fun, fun stuff. So let's go ahead and see if we can jump in this direction here. Be in position, watch me pull that eye, push that rear away, prepare him, and pull that eye, push that rear away, chain sides, and rest right here. Okay, Chelsea, that's your challenge, okay? Well, I like the way she approaches her horse. She's firm but friendly. She's really has a great relationship with the little mare here. Watch this how she gets herself, how every gesture means something. And she just all ladies and gentlemen home. She's determined. She's a good student. Now watch her pull that eye, push that rear away. And watch her chain sides. Textbook, textbook, textbooks, textbook, textbook. Great job. <laughs>